Good afternoon, traders, and welcome to the Hot Stocks Outlook for January 12th, 2017. So very, very exciting start to the new year. A lot of really great opportunities out there in the market for traders. But really the most important thing for any individual trader out there is really understanding you know, the tools that they use and how they make trading decisions day in and day out and really understanding their edge in the marketplace. So uh, I really wanna take this opportunity to look at you know, some charts we've looked at previously. Uh, we have Apple, so a very popular company here, uh, but very important to really get a good understanding of you know, how other markets like the dollar index and crude oil and the gold market all have dramatic impacts on the stocks that you're trading. And that's really what Vantage Point Intermarket Analysis Software does is it's accounting for how those other related markets, whether it's you know the ETF group, like a technology ETF, uh, the dollar index, the S&P 500, how all these greater markets you know, share very important relationships with the assets that you trade as a trader. And you know, not understanding these relationships and accounting for them is really what derails a lot of traders and gets them in the right, you know, really wrong direction in the wrong spots at the wrong times. So uh, here we have Apple stock and uh, we have the daily bars and candles against the price action here. And uh, if we look closely at this, we, you know, as always can see that, you know, we've got a black line and a blue line against the price data. So it's very important to understand the difference between these two lines and how traders are utilizing this tool to get better advanced uh, knowledge of when a trend is likely to reverse in a given market. Again, you know, minimizing those overall risk you take on a given trade. Now, uh, that black line that you see on the chart there, that is a simple moving average, just a regular SMA. So that value there is very, very simple to calculate. I mean, you simply take the last, you know, 10 close prices, add all those values together, and then divide by that value of 10, and that generates a simple moving average. So, you know, with that indicator, it's really only summarizing, you know, what's already occurred in a given market, what's happened in the past. And so it really only summarizes and lags as far as, you know, what the market has already done. Now, against the price action in that black line, though, you'll also notice that there is a blue line on the screen there. Now, that blue line is a proprietary indicator generated by vantage point. And that for that value to be calculated, it's not simply just looking at past prices in Apple stock. It's able to account for how other markets like the dollar index, crude oil prices, um, uh, like this technology ETF, you know, related technology stocks, all share very important valuable relationships with, in this case, Apple. And so by looking at this as a comparison between uh, really a prediction of where the market's expected to go generated via that uh, technology, that artificial intelligence, uh, and where the market's already been, that helps traders detect trend changes in the market. So, you know, whenever that blue line crosses above or below the black line, you really understand that there's an opportunity there for the market to really change directions and, and for you to see an advance or decline in a given market. And there's really great features like scanning features here that, you know, really filter all that out. So you're only focusing on those fresh opportunities uh, where that uh, uh, phenomenon there between that predicted moving average crossing over that actual moving average takes place. So uh, in addition to that, though, against this price action, you notice at the very bottom of the chart here, uh, this is another indicator, a proprietary indicator, utilizing, again, that technology to forecast future price action. Very short term indicator, though, here now. It's, uh, the indicator can only be a one or a zero. So it's either you know right or wrong, yes or no, but has an extremely high level of accuracy at predicting essentially 48 hours in advance, whether there's gonna be short-term strength or weakness in a given market over that 48 hour period. So when we combine that essentially predicted moving average, essentially telling us when a trend has reversed with the shorter term, very highly accurate tool from the neural index, you really understand as a trader, look, when do I want to be heavier on a position? When do I want to be day trading in a given market? Uh, and when I want to be lighter and trying to get better prices in a given market. So here in Apple shares, we see that really uh, very clean crossover to the upside here saying, look, blue line over black line over the next 48 hours is also predicted some strength in the market. You can go ahead and take those long positions in the market, whether it's you know buying options, whether you're buying the shares, uh, whether you're getting in there for day trades and trying to hit profit targets. Um, but you see, since that blue line, since that predicted moving average has remained above the black line, the market's moved up 8%. So almost regardless of your trading style here, you've known, look, in December and moving forward into the new year, 
be long Apple for that 8% advance. Now, uh, if we look more closely, and, and I really love to do this, so you know, regardless of if you're shorter term, longer term, you can really see the value of this uh, uh, forecasting tool and how this can help you. Um, you know, we really see that you know the neural index holds up at a one for really the bigger duration of this advance. And you see what really happens here. You get a neural index down to a zero, up at a one, but what's happening here? The blue line, a ton of separation between that black line saying, look, the trend is up. You may get some weakness or some sideways action over the next couple of days. You see you drop down to a zero here, get some weakness over the next couple of days. But the blue line never crosses below the black line, never even close. And, you know, once you get all these conditions aligned again, you see neural index strongly up there to one again then you can go back in with your shorter term trading ideas and look to exploit uh, the upside that's likely to occur in the markets that you're trading. So, you know, whether you trade, you know, shorter term options, whether you're a swing trader, position trader, you really need to understand, you know, what is likely to occur in a given market so you can adjust yourself and make sure you're around for the big, nice moves and trends that, that move higher. Uh, last week, we covered a couple of stocks that we'll cover here. Uh, Wabash was one of them. And, and the whole point of covering this uh, uh, stock here was to really point out that, you know, over this time period here, we you know obviously caught a great trend. I mean, it's up like 30 percent, 40 percent. But what we understood is, look, as long as that blue line remains above the black line, that trend is up and you're going to get these periods of weakness from the neural index moving forward. But that's alerting you to, you know, buy on that weakness as long as that blue line remains uh, above that uh, black line there, though, expect this market to move higher. And so you don't want to be getting out of your position. Uh, you want to be managing the position, taking profits along the way. And we see that so far, Wabash here, I mean, just keeps moving up. And until, you know, we get the forecast essentially to the downside saying expect weakness, you know, you're going to make sure you're around for that 47% and not doing silly things like stepping aside from the market too early or, or you know, not buying more shares when, you know, there's a, a good price, some weakness and an uptrend coming. So very, very important stuff there. So 47% move to the upside. We also covered Pan American silver as, as well as some of those uh, silver and gold miners and other stocks. But the whole point is that stocks like this, especially, you know, they have a huge correlation to the precious metal markets and those, those mining uh, uh, metals. And so, you know, it's so important to understand that, look, uh, you know, gold prices are also moving up over this time period. We, we really highlighted that now is the time to go ahead and get long. But I want to take a very close look at this forecast, uh, you know, in its entirety. Uh, you see, our blue line is still above our black line. So you've caught about a 16% move higher over just 10 trading days. So a huge move higher. But you actually see that, look, the neural index has dropped down to a zero recently here. So saying short-term weakness over the next couple of days. And for a swing trader or trend trader, they can come in and say, look, I'm going to go ahead and take, you know, half my position off, take some of that, uh, uh, you know, 15%, uh, get out of the market, try to get out you know, near these predicted high or predicted low levels to help guide your decision making for those shorter term trades. Um, but the whole point here is, you know, blue line is still above the black line. So as a longer term trader, you understand, look, trail those stops up, maybe get a little defensive, but, you know, manage it based on the forecast and off of these shorter and longer term tools. You can always take a little bit of profit. And then in the short term, when that neural index gets back up to a one, know that, look, you can buy over the next subsequent 48 hour periods. Um, what I also wanted to highlight here is, you know, just the effectiveness of you know, the predicted high and low levels for traders. So, you know, we really highlighted this all the way back here. And you see how these predicted high and low levels work out where, you know, this is a predicted low level. So neural index saying strength over the next couple of days, you know, you're in an uptrend. That's the predicted low level of the day. Great opportunity to buy more shares. And you see the market moves up again. Here again, buy more shares, uh, really great price to go ahead and buy. And you see, hitting these predicted highs, hitting these predicted highs. And we hit these predicted highs today with that neural index lower saying, hey, take some profit up there at 1740 and uh, you know, try to accept some lower prices moving forward or trail your stops on a trend trade. So you know, this is what I mean by you know, regardless of the trading style that you, you know, utilize, you need to understand what to expect over given periods of time so you can adjust and manage your position effectively. Uh, last but not least here, you know, we talked last week about Macy's. A lot of these retail stocks are moving aggressively. And, you know, when we take, you know, what we've learned here in Apple and Pan American and, you know, what we learned how this neural index works, you know, take a look at this forecast. Again, all the same logic here. 
really nice opportunity to get long this market. Very, very clear saying, this is the day you wanna go ahead and get long Chico's, the retailer, mall retail store, I believe. Um, so this market moves straight up, your neural index drops down to a zero here, and you get a little bit of a pullback in the market. But look, there's a huge amount of separation between this blue and the black line, which is really signaling, look, remain in that uptrend. You see, once this neural index gets back up to a one, great opportunity to, to be in this market and, and definitely long day trading, hitting shorter term profit targets in the market. Um, but things can change in a market. And, you know, right now, this is very important for traders to understand. And, and a lot of traders may be getting pretty hurt in the market right now. Um, but to really understand when it's just not the time to hold a position in a given market. And you really see that all this weakness very early from the neural index. So the short term trades really cease, uh, get very small in position sizes as well, uh, cross over to the downside. And you know, you see just how effective it is to preserve profits, make sure that you're getting in and out of the market at the right time. So, you know, as this market moves up about 38%, uh, if you don't get out at the right time, recognizing that the, 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 the trend has changed, you know, you're looking to give back 14% very, very early there in the market. Um, and a trader who has these tools and has a lot of confidence with, you know, how to utilize uh, the, the tools and understands these short and long-term forecasts, you know, they even come in and start shorting a market like this with the profits that they made on the up move. So, you know, it's all about adjusting your position as the markets move forward. And uh, because we don't know what the market's gonna look like, you know, a month, two months from now, things are gonna happen, but we gotta make sure we ride those trends and make the most of them. That's really what this uh, a tool really helps you do, uh, really regardless of that overall style that you have in the market. So uh, as always, you know, thank you all for watching. You know, this has been the Hot Stocks Outlook for January 12th, 2017. Best of luck there out there in the markets. Thanks for watching and bye for now. <laughs>